I do what I do because I've seen God's power transform my own life, and He will do it for you. The key to everything is found in God's Word. I'm Joyce Meyer, and I believe that God can heal you everywhere you hurt. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Enjoying Everyday Life. Now, here's a question for you. Be honest. Are you easily offended? In today's world, offense is everywhere. And the question is, how do we handle it so it doesn't trip us up and hurt our relationship with others and with God? Well, we tackled this topic on a Talk It Out podcast recently. Joyce, Aaron Cluley, Jay, and I discussed some important strategies when it comes to dealing with offense. This is such useful stuff, and I believe this program will really be helpful to you. <laughs> we are talking about something that is going to set a lot of people free, yeah. I think. It's yes. so important. And when we get down to the nitty-gritty of it, it is something that we deal with probably every single mm -hmm. day in one way or another. Mm -hmm. We're talking about offense. We're going to start with Joyce teaching us a little bit about what offense actually means, and then we are going to dig right in and help all of us not live in it. Now, the Webster's Dictionary says offend means to displease. It means to make angry, but I like this. It says it expresses less than to make angry. It's like it, in the beginning, it's a smaller thing than to be angry. That's why we have to get it when we first feel it. And, and you know how it feels. It's just like, it's just that little Just kind of curl your nose up and a little bitter taste. <laughs> Actually, the truth is, is love is not easily offended. It's amazing how many things we could solve in our lives if we would just focus more on walking in love with other people. 1 Corinthians 13, 5, we need to read it. Love is not conceited. It's not arrogant and inflated with pride. Love is not rude, unmannerly, does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own way. It is not self-seeking. Here it comes. It is not touchy. <laughs> are fretful, are resentful, and it just keeps getting stronger. It takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. What kind of things tend to offend us? Somebody doesn't appreciate my work. Somebody ignores us. I'm not included in something that I think I should have been included in. Somebody disagrees with me. Someone doesn't meet my expectations. Somebody's inconsiderate. Have to wait in line for someone who's moving a little slow. <laughs> Waiting in traffic. Somebody swerves into your parking place you've been waiting on. <laughs> Not having our opinion appreciated. People who don't believe the way we do. <laughs> Even about the God that we all serve. You know, if we were better at this message, we wouldn't have 900 different denominations, all who think they're the only ones that are right. I think some of those walls are starting to come down, and I hope and pray that in my lifetime I'll get to see them come all the way down, because wow, what a force we could be in the earth if we could all just decide to love each other and stop criticizing people who don't think exactly the way we think. Ruckus yeah, applause, so exactly. It's so true. And, yeah. and now, maybe more than ever, there is so much to be offended by. Definitely yeah. more than any other time. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. I mean, of course, we've always had our, our family and our friends who can offend us. Mm -hmm. But crazy. now, yeah, now there's, there's social media. It's yeah. crazy full of offense. There's 
um, political aspects that, that are nuts, cultural, the church, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. just so many areas that we could really let this sink in and take root. But and so that's, that's why you've taught so much about it. The Bible says in Matthew 24 that in the last days, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. one of the signs of Christ's coming mm-hmm. is that many will be offended mm-hmm. and they'll fall away. So you mentioned earlier that you are more mature. <laughs> so I'm only saying Your it because words. you said it. So in in the years that you've lived, does it feel different now than it does in the past? Like, can oh, yeah. you see people, that shift? People today are definitely much more touchy. Hmm. Um, I mean, say back like when I was a teenager, which has been a while ago, um, People even that weren't believers mm-hmm. were st- still nice. Yeah. You know, they had manners. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't use bad language in front of a woman. Mm-hmm. I mean, just things that today people don't think anything mm-hmm. right. all about. Like they wouldn't use bad language in front of a woman because it might offend her. Mm-hmm. And if they did, they would apologize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, people today are more and more selfish and self-centered and the more selfish we become, the easier it is to get offended every mm-hmm. time something doesn't go the way we want it to go. Yeah. yeah. I do think it has a lot to do with the current state of technology, too. Yeah. You know, we have so many different platforms where people don't just see something. They can also offer their opinion, mm-hmm. right. their unsolicited opinion, right. you know. And without any kind of retribution. Yeah, no, no retribution, like, no yeah, filter, no want. anything, you know. And then I saw this other post the other day that said, do you remember when you're, when when a teenager would have get to talk to their friend on the phone that they first typically had to talk to their parent first? Yes. Do you, like... Uh-huh. You, you think of even that. Because like, you call and you, you say. You call a landline. And, so and so there. You know, and uh-huh. then your mom or dad. And you, so even things like that, you've, a lot of the generations now yeah, have skipped out true. on a lot of like um, respect even. Oh, Those yeah. foundations are respect and honoring people. And, you know, yeah. so it's easier to get offended because people have fewer, they have more filters, but they have fewer filters when it comes to their opinion and respect. I just right. thought that was interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you look at offense, a, a lot of it comes down to what we think is out of our control because somebody else did it. Mm-hmm. You know, they did this mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. But what we want to talk about today, I guess, is <laughs> that we have a choice. Mm-hmm. Right. Are we going to be offended? How do we deal with things? So what are some of the things that you guys find your touchy areas <laughs> that you get easily offended by? I know I've got plenty. That was a little giggle. Go ahead, you go first, well, let's, let's hear about yours first, since you've got so many. <laughs> yes, I asked. Oh, I definitely do. Okay, so w- one of mine you mentioned in your teaching, and that's being left out. I can easily be offended by like, oh, everybody did this, and I didn't get invited, sure. or you know, some so and so didn't tell me something that I thought I should know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's always a decision. Like, okay, am I just going to let this sure. go? Or am I going to let it eat me up from the inside? Because that's what offense does. And here's the other one. <laughs> it's not the only other one, but another one that, that comes to my mind. Um, when people don't respect or make fun of the elderly or, mm-hmm. or even not that, just old jokes, sure. I can easily be offended by old jokes. I, I, oh, I was going to start telling old jokes. <laughs> no, no, no. Not just old jokes. But <laughs> no. jokes. I mean, jokes about the elderly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> jokes about, you know, you're old. And it just, it feels very disrespectful. And I felt that way really my whole life. Well, I'm glad you told me because I had one coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but the older you get to, you know, the, the more you start to hear. And it's interesting because when I first started working here, I was 39 on the day that I started working here. And I was one of the oldest people in in my area that I was in charge of. So right away, it was like all kinds of old jokes. And I'm like, I'm 39. Yeah. Yeah. But then I had to make that choice. And, you know, because I love these people. Mm -hmm. Am I going to, am I going to? laugh and and go on sometimes i would say okay that's enough you know and and other times you think i'm not going to be offended by this right. and yeah. other times i miserably failed and i was just mad all day long <laughs> <laughs> okay well one of my big ones is i am a very good communicator and it really bothers me 
when people don't communicate. Mm. It, you can cause so much work yeah. for other people by just not communicating yeah. what, what you really want, what you expect. You're going to be a little late, you know, whatever the case might yeah. be. And uh, Can you kind of take that personally? Like it, it, it's offensive to you? Well, it just, yeah, it just really bothers me when people don't respect me enough to yeah. communicate. There it is, yeah. With me, because when you don't communicate, you are mm -hmm. costing somebody else Right. Time yeah. and trouble. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people just aren't natural-born communicators. But if you're going to deal with other people, it is something that you need yeah, to learn. Absolutely. I mean, how easy is it to say, I'm going to be 15 minutes late mm -hmm. instead of just being late? Mm -hmm. Right. And then half the time not even saying, I'm sorry I'm late. But I had an interesting one this week. Um, I sent an email to somebody. And it was just, it wasn't anything that required an answer. I was just telling them something about me. Like, I've started these stretching classes. I felt like God put it on my heart. It would really be good for me to stay more flexible. So I'm being stretched with an assistant. In other words, I don't do it myself. Yeah, they mm -hmm. stretch Those me, cool. which... I got my first one this week, and she said, I was just getting to know your body, but I'll warn you ahead of time, next week is going to be a little more intense, oh. so you can all pray for me ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. But So I just, I text somebody, that's a friend, just to tell them what I was going to do, and, and here, here's the thing I want people to understand. I didn't get an answer, and it, it bothered me. Hmm. It kept like kind of coming mm -hmm. back to me. Well, you know, but then I realized so often we're offended by our own expectation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, I expected yep. them to answer me, but they may be a busy person that looked at that and thought it doesn't require an answer. Mm -hmm. We're all just so different mm -hmm. yeah. in the way that we, you know, like I like somebody to say, oh, that's great or you know, have fun or, you know, I, I at least want to know that you... Nice to hear from you, Gumby. Yeah, that you got my, <laughs> that you, you know, a little heart thing on the top or whatever, just yeah, something right. to let me know that you got it. Because if I don't hear back, if I don't hear anything back, then I don't know if they got it. Yeah, right. I don't know if they don't care. Mm -hmm. So to me, that comes across as a lack of communication. But I really thought about that this morning since this was what we're going to be talking about. And I believe that I have the answer to not being offended. The Share whole it. answer? We pretty, need it. Pretty much. <laughs> we'll take it. Pretty much. <laughs> you want it now? Yeah, right now. I think at least the largest part of the answer is to always believe the best. Mm -hmm. That is huge. It would change everything if mm -hmm. that's how I mean, it would because anything. I instead of me thinking that person just ignored that. Mm-hmm. And just didn't care anything about what I was telling them. Yeah. I know it's somebody that loves me, so I don't think they would do that anyway. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, okay, what are the other possibilities? Well, this is a very busy person, so maybe they got 25 emails right. that day. Yeah. And they intended to answer me, but then another one came in, another yeah. one came in, yeah, another one came in. Yeah. And... But it's funny how offense is. It's like when you've got that offense in your heart, it, the thing that bothers you will just keep kind of coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll just nag at yeah. you a little mm -hmm. bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, but I, I really do believe that that's the largest part of the answer is we have a choice mm -hmm. to believe the worst or to believe the best. Yeah, yeah. to be suspicious or to be loving. Yeah, mm. and. Even if the other person was being rude to me, I'm only helping myself by believing the best. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had that conversation, my husband and I, so often when we'll get in little tiffs. And if you if we have stopped and said, back up, like, I, I am for you. We're on the same team here. Right. And, and having that same conversation yeah. to believe the best about me, I, my intentions really were good. It's amazing how that kind mm -hmm. of backtracks whatever you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And it does change. I remember yeah. Dave saying to me one time, why do you always act like I'm your enemy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
because I expect you to be in sometimes. Well, Dave, he's, he's really, he really, he's a protector. And he really wants to take care of me and make sure that I don't get hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm very independent. <laughs> no. And I, yeah, very independent. <laughs> and so, so I would take it, let's just say like, for example, and he'll even do it now. If I'm going down a set of steps, he'll say, now hold on to the banister. <laughs> Well, I, <laughs> that would hurt me so much. I <laughs> so, want, thank you. See, like before, I would think oh, I am not stupid. Right. <laughs> you know, I would take it like he thought I was stupid. Yeah. And uh, so it's interesting how a lot of times when we're offended, it's not because somebody's done something mm -hmm. to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because of the way. We're taking it or because our expectation wasn't met. And maybe they didn't even know that we had that expectation of them. Yeah. That's yeah. so true. How many times have I said, don't you think I know that? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> because he's trying to be helpful, mm -hmm. but it's really easy to take it in that way that you're offended where it's like, you know, I've, I've got this. You don't have to treat me like a child. When That's not what he's doing at all. I almost got Dave a Father's Day card this year. Because he acts like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I've started saying, saying, yes, dad. He'll say, did you take your probiotic this morning? And if I didn't take it, he'll get it and bring it to me <laughs> and put it in my and mouth. And see, he's, and put it, oh, he, that oh was maybe gosh. one too far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just. And it, swallow. It's, yes, yeah, swallow. <laughs> Are you drinking water? Yeah. I was, I was having a little tummy problem the other day, and he said, did you eat sugar after you ate your dinner? And I said, no, dad. <laughs> but the, the thing that's so interesting is how many years, Yeah. I mean, years that would offend me mm -hmm. and yeah. bother me because I totally took it wrong. His yeah. heart was 100% right. Mm -hmm. And I was taking it completely wrong because of insecurities in me. Yes. yes. That's a big word in this, it is. isn't it? my dysfunctional past. Yeah. 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 The thing that causes me to feel offense is similar to what you're just saying, if I am made to feel dumb. Like if you do something that makes me feel stupid or I think that you think I'm stupid, right. nothing causes me to rise up, my nose stick up like you now, said. what do you think I am, stupid? Yeah. <laughs> like I am, a, I am a smart, independent lady. I can do things by myself and I know things. So that, and that is my own insecurity. I can, I can feel that in me. There's something inside of me that causes me to, I don't know feel not good enough. or It yeah. is really amazing how many problems being insecure causes us. Yeah. 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 I never really connected that with offense, but it makes yeah. complete sense. Yeah, insecurity and tr triggers from trauma, from right. what you said, yeah. like even like your past. There's a reason yeah. why you're this independent woman. Right. You've had to be for so long. Mm -hmm. And exactly. so it's a process of growing and, and maturing and living life and letting your guard down to, to be able to receive that love again. Because right. I know even now, like that's yeah. a big deal for me. And so like even one of the biggest things that offend me and irk me and get on my <laughs> nerves is people telling me how I should heal. Like, <laughs> that bothers me. Even though I know that they, I guess they mean well, like they want me to be happy or whatever, but you should do this and you should do that and you should, and I'm like, you should be quiet. You know, like, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm like, I'm, we need to talk about offense because uh, I just, I, I get like that, but a lot of times it's, Typically, when it's unsolicited opinions mm -hmm. or, or, or people trying to be kind, yeah. overly kind about sensitive areas, you know, yeah. that, that we're healing from. And, sure. you know, and another one of mine, which <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a shorter person. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm only five one, um, and I'm a black woman. And so when people say things that make me feel tiny mm -hmm. or if something that makes me feel like a stereotype, I instantly get defensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's like. I am not, but I am loud. I do know that. Like, I know I'm loud, but I don't like when people tell me that because then I'm like, don't call me a stereotype. Is it because I'm, you know, like, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. things like that, that it might even fit my personality and they don't mean any harm, mm -hmm. but because of triggers from historical things in our country or, you know, sure, just things yeah. that I've heard that it could trigger me and make me offended and defensive when it's somebody that, that loves me. Right. And, and it really is 
me, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I think if we really think about it, how many people do you think get up every day and think, I'm going to see how many people I can offend today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can think of a few, maybe. <laughs> right. There's several. That, no, I mean, not generally. You're right. That yeah. is not Seriously, how it works. what I'm Goal. trying to say yeah, is, right. is we always take it like, well, you, like you're doing this on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they don't even know they're doing it most of no, the time. Exactly. No. That's where, no, maybe they're not using wisdom. Right. You know, like they're giving you advice you don't want. But you can choose to believe they're really just trying to help me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, even though you don't necessarily want to be helped. Mm-hmm. And that was the thing with Dave. It was like he was always trying to help me. And I'm like, I don't want to be helped. <laughs> I can do this myself. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm a little impatient. Well, no, I'm a lot impatient. And so sometimes I had to wait on him to come to help me. Uh-huh. And right. I wanted to it just been done. Without I just wanted to get yeah. it over with. Yeah. Yeah. So help me when I want it right away, but don't help me when I don't. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. If you're going to help me exactly. quickly. <laughs> uh, you, you, you hit it on the head. If I want your help, I want it right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said something that I think is so true, is, is the way that offense gnaws at you because Mm -hmm. I I can hear something and right away decide I know they didn't mean it that way and move on. But later that night Oh yeah. You start replaying the conversation and then you think, wait wait a minute, maybe Maybe they did mean it that yeah. way. Right. And it just nags at you and Mm -hmm. it goes away and comes back. How do you deal with that? I even found myself last night now this is really telling on myself, but I looked up that email. <laughs> oh, I've done that. Did I not hit send, see, right? Maybe how, you got caught. No, wait. To see how long ago it was that I sent it. <laughs> to see how many days it had been that they hadn't answered me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we've so, all done that. We've all got we've all got our stuff, but this is what this is all about. And, you know, people can take some of this and it can really help them if they will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, is... By taking offense, and the Bible does say don't take offense, mm-hmm. it's always going to be offered. Mm-hmm. We can choose to take it or not to take it. But by taking it, we only make ourselves miserable yeah. because I would venture to say 99% of the time, they don't have any idea they hurt our feelings. That's exactly. Yeah. That's and so that, that's one of the things that um, when you said that earlier before we started I mean, you said about taking offense, mm-hmm. like it's our option mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. take it, you know, or to to like because we're human and it's natural to say like, oh, this that hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. That's that's normal. And if it's someone you love, I believe in Matthew 18 saying, and you know, saying, hey, that kind of hurt my feelings when you right. said that. Yeah. But I've also I'm learning. I'm still in the process of learning. I'm growing in this area when I do get offended when those thoughts, because those thoughts, mm-hmm. like re, like replaying it and then trying to figure out the intention and be like, because she said this and she said, oh, she said that. And uh-huh. oh, you know, you know, and then it's like, and that's why she did that. And that's what I, he did, you know. And so then I start playing it out. But what I've stopped learning to do when those thoughts keep coming up, I like take a breath. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, God, like, I, help me. Right. <laughs> help, yeah. help me to let go. Help yeah. me to forgive yeah. and help me to believe the best. Because that's something I love about you, G. Like, you're always just like, I'm just going to try to believe the best. I'm mm-hmm. like, help me. You know, so I literally <laughs> ask for help when those situations come. It helps like, me when I believe the best. Yeah. yeah. Even if I'm not doing it for the other person, mm-hmm. I've learned that everything that God tells us to do in his word is for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually just for our, I actually read that in the scriptures this morning, that I'm giving you all these commandments for your good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Everything that he tells us is for our good. Mm -hmm. So to believe the best allows me to go ahead and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they intended to be rude to me. Yeah, don't Mm -hmm. give them that. Yeah. You know, just Mm -hmm. don't give them that. Yeah. Yeah. It's stressful to like try to be the investigator, trying to figure out, put all the clues together. It's It's stressful. Like, I'm like... It, 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 man, it's just when you're trying to figure you got out like a cork board, yeah, like trying to put all the pieces and together strings. because that's what happened, and this is what she said that when she saw that, and he said it's just stressful. So like now I'm just like no, like I believe God help me to believe the best in this sure. situation, help me to let this go. We have an exciting YouTube offer that's specially designed to help you spend quality time with your kids and nurture their growth with God the incredible power of God's Word, and best day ever, 
two remarkable books crafted to inspire kids as they embark on a faith-filled exploration and discover the wonders of God's love. Unleash the power of faith and create unforgettable moments with your kids. Go to joycemeyer.org slash kidsdevo and grab this limited time offer today. The biggest thing that we need to do is learn how to think like God thinks, and the only way you can do that is by knowing the Word of God. In Words to Live By, Joyce Meyer shares how studying the Word of God transformed her life. Experience a deeper and more meaningful relationship with God through the captivating collection of verses in this beautiful hardcover book by Joyce Meyer. Discover the transformative power of His Word. Words to Live By from Joyce Meyer. Get your YouTube exclusive offer today. Go to joycemeyer.org slash words and the number two. Have you ever been trapped in a never-ending frenzy where every passing moment feels like a blur, leaving you gasping for a chance to pause and catch your breath? In her insightful book, Pursuing Peace, Joyce Meyer explores the importance of seeking peace at all costs. This beautiful hardcover edition is filled with meaningful scriptures and uplifting quotes from Joyce, providing valuable guidance for living a peaceful lifestyle. So grab a cup of coffee, find a comfortable spot, and embark on your journey to find peace. Remember, this limited time YouTube offer won't last long. Go to joycemeyer.org pursuit to get your copy today and start your pursuit of peace. The mind actually is the battlefield. That's where we win or lose the war with Satan. He said all he gets to say. <laughs> he says, Jesus the rest, of the, rest, of, the, rest of, the of the day is mine. You start asking God to heal you and he will restore. He's the God of all comfort. And I am so grateful that I know how to call on God.